I'm back, baby. It's part two of the new Carnival Cafe. I'm gonna try more of the menu. Olivine's Greek, he's got like a Kiwi theme this time. I'm really looking forward to it, here we go. So the second new Carnival Cafe, part two, had lots of people there, so many people there. It was like Edmund's birthday. Uh, so you'd get like a free Edmund birthday card for like every 2000 yen spent. Um, and I think it was part two had only just changed over. So there was lots of people at the cafe and I was really, really awkward to like um, talk while filming. There was like a pe like I was sitting at a table and directly to my right were two other ladies there. It was all ladies at the cafe as well. Um, I was sitting at Quincy's table and I scanned the QR code and I chose my menu. This is, this is how many people were at the cafe. So many, you can see my spooked out face. I don't want to be chatting too loudly while I was there. Um, the stands were back, the big cardboard cutouts of the different characters, same decorations, um, but new merch was available at this cafe. So I bought lots of the new merch for Luca and Hans. Um, I could see this TV playing with all of the artwork of the different characters. I didn't see, I think it was probably playing at the first cafe as well, I just, I just didn't see it, didn't notice it. Olivine, best boy, he's got a kiwi drink this time. Um, so I tried it. Uh, the new drink menu was very good. Um, I had six drinks, six love potions. Um, I'll be trying them out in this video. Here's all of the different characters. Blade, that is Blade, that is not Ray. I'm not gonna make that mistake from the last video. And here's all the drinks that I got. More vase on the far left. Kiwi drink of Olivine. Blades has the little, like, a uh, fluffy character. And it had gold leaf in it as well. Did you see that? It was gold leaf inside. Edmund's drink. It's like a hot calpus drink. There it is. That's, that's Blades drink. First drink that I tried was Yakumo. Is that his name? Yakumo's drink. And it's got, like, lots of ice, lots of berries. Uh... What did I think of the drink? I actually wrote some memos down, so I should write it down. I think it was very tarty. Oh, and it was fizzy as well. It was very tarty, very strong, fizzy. Might have been like a cranberry flavor, but I really enjoyed that. Yakumo's drink was the first drink that I tried. Here's all of the acrylic stands. And now they've got the volume, the version two uh, blocks, character blocks with their artwork. So I bought, oh, and Ray had one this one time. He didn't have anything last time. Jin has one. Um, I bought two of those to try and get characters that um, Luke and Hans like. There they are. The second anniversary version. I think they were, they were selling the first anniversary version as well. Luca made a big donation for me to buy Aiden's acrylic sand. I was saying that I liked the look of Aiden in the last video. I like he's got a rainbow color. So Luca bought me an acrylic sand. And these were the badges that we got at the first cafe. Um, Aiden and Kuya were the badges that I was able to get, which I sent to Luca and Hans. I'd like to get Olivine or Morve, but um, these badges were unavailable, unfortunately, so I wasn't able to buy them. You had to like make a pre-order if you wanted to buy these ones with these tickets, and so I just bought the Volume 2 ones instead. There's Quincy with Topper, Olivine, and my boy, my handsome boy, Aiden, there he is. I'm not gay, guys. <laughs> but I do like Aiden. He does, he's, he is quite a handsome boy with his rainbow gem. So Luca bought me this acrylic stand. Thank you so much, Luca. Where is it? I've put it away at the moment, but I'd like to bring it out for future streams and stuff. My food arrived, which was waffles and Morve and Asta's, uh, like, savory food set. And it came with a little card as well. Um, this is a uh, Edmund's drink, the birthday boy. It's hot to the touch. It's melting a little bit with like marshmallows on top. That's the birthday card. So I was I was able to get five of these birthday cards, which two I'll send one to Luca, one to Hans. I've still got three of these cards, which I don't know what to do. I thought it was going to be like kind of creamy, but it was like, do you know what Calpus tastes like? C-A-L-P-I-S, Kalpas. Kalpas is a very famous drink in Japan. Um, it's kind of like cloudy, not like an apple flavor. Um, 
but a very famous kalpas. So this was a hot kalpas drink with a little bit of cream, a little bit of marshmallow. It was yum. I can't really describe what kalpas tastes like, unfortunately. Um, it was like sweet juice, really. Oh, this is what I need to explain. A woman came up to me and was like, do you want to trade coasters? Um, are you going to look at what your coasters are? Because I'd like to trade what coasters you have. And I was like, oh my God. So I asked Luca, is it okay if I don't look at like one coaster at a time? I just look at them all now. And so I, I checked out what all of my coasters were because there was a woman at the cafe who wanted to trade with me. She's very brave to come up and talk to a foreign boy. Um, so first one was, was Morve, which is one of the ones Luca, Luca's favorite character. So I was very happy to get Morve straight up. That was a win right there. Second one, Olivine! No way! The two ones that Luca wanted the most, I was able to get straight away. Um, no difficulty there. What is the third coaster? Edmund, the birthday boy. Um, just tried his drink, so that was nice. It's got a cherry at the bottom of the drink, so it looks the same. He's, there we go, there's the birthday card. There's the Edmund birthday coaster. Aiden. Another win. There's me losing it and flipping out. Um, he's got the rainbow drink. A very handsome boy. Ed, Ed, uh, not Edmund. Aiden. Fifth coaster is Ray, which I think Hans does like Ray, but it's not Blade. <laughs> there I am having it next to the drink being like, is it Blade? No, 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 no. It's Ray. I wanted to get the Blade coaster. I got Dante next. I didn't try... Dante's drink. I don't think Dante's drink was available at this cafe or the last cafe. Did I drink it? I'm not sure. Garu. That's another one that Luca really wants. I got really lucky at both cafes with the coasters and the merch, I think. Last one was Kuya. I got the badge of Kuya. I got the drink of Kuya at the last cafe. So that's a win right there. Those are the eight coasters that I was able to get with my six drinks and my two food items. Um... So yeah, next next drink I'm gonna try is Olivine's drink, but I had all my coasters just like sitting to the left side of the table, just in case, and it was really weird at this, because there were so many people at this cafe. Lots of ladies were just like walking around, like looking at all the tables. It was kind of like there was an open like forum of, do you wanna trade coasters with everyone? It was, it was actually pretty cool. I wish more anime cafes had that sort of culture. I guess the, the new carnival fans want the coasters the most of the different characters. So Olivine's Kiwi drink. I'm Kiwi in Japan. There it is. I'm Kiwi in Japan. I like that Kiwi drink. I was very happy to try this. Last year at the Anniversary Cafe, Olivine also had a Kiwi drink. So Olivine's my best boy because he just always has a Kiwi theme. Um, and it was really nice. It was, um, it was classic, not a super strong Kiwi flavor didn't have like a scratchy feeling like kiwi fruit. Oh, I loved it. It was the best drink. Oh god. Blade's drink. I don't know if you guys all know, but Blade canonically cannot cook in the new carnival game. He, he His food last year at the 2023 anniversary cafe was disgusting. It was like inedible. It was like creamy but no flavor. Just yuck. So I had... I, I was thinking his drink this year is probably not going to be good either. So here we go. Here's me trying it. Look at that face. <laughs> that reaction. <laughs> so his drink was like syrupy water. It was like a little sweet, but it was just no, it was just like, you know how you get like a sugary syrup with coffee, like a sweetener. It was just like that with water. And so it was just yuck. It was very plain, not good. Um, a woman came over to me and was like, do you want to trade coasters? And I was like, uh, I want bredo, bredo ga hoshi. I want Blade, is what I said. And so she was like, oh, uh, sumimasen. Uh, and then went away. Uh, bredo wa chotto. Blade is a little, doesn't say. It was kind of like the Japanese polite keigo. In Japanese, when you're polite, you don't say no. 
you say like, oh, it's a little bit, oh, sorry, uh, excuse me. Uh, you don't say no. So she was basically saying, I don't have blade. And so she went away. But another woman overheard this and came over and was like, I have blade. And here it was, blade. And she put it in like a little sealed casing. She was like, I have blade. Do you want to trade? And I was like, oh, Dante, Edmund. And she was like, Edmund. And so I traded the Edmund coaster for Blade, which is Hans' favorite character. So there we go. I got Blade. I no longer had the coaster of Edmund, but didn't mind that because I had that birthday card with the same artwork. Very happy. <laughs> Here's my Edmund acrylic stand with the Morve and Asta drinks. They're very cute. They've got like little ribbons on top. Uh, Morve's drink is dragon fruit. Asta's drink is, I'm not sure exactly. Very, very cool. With all the food in the background as well. I'm doing the same, the same panning out camera angle. Um, I kept the little ribbons of Morve and Asta. Here I am trying Asta's drink first. Ooh, it was tarty and sweet. So similar to Yakumo's drink, but it wasn't fizzy either. So it was more sweet than tarty. Um, and Morve's drink was supposedly dragon fruit and there's pieces of dragon fruit at the bottom of the drink but it just tasted kind of like a fizzy sweet drink couldn't quite put my finger on what flavor it was it was good but it just i don't know drag i couldn't i couldn't taste dragon fruit um next to these waffles i don't know if they're specifically linked to a character or an event i left them for too long the sorbet started to melt the actual waffle was a bit dry um, but the cream and the berries on top were very good. The melted sorbet was very good, but the, the waffle was kind of average. Maybe it wasn't hot. Maybe I left it too long. Um, is this called prosciutto? Prosciutto? This was really nice. This is Morve and Asta's drink, and it came with tomato juice. I don't like tomato juice and chocolate coins. This was from an event where Morve and Asta have special skins as well, like special outfits. Um, I was able to get a card of either Asta or Morve, and I lucked out and got Morve, which is the character, which is Lucas' favorite character. So here he is, Morve, wearing a special event skin, which um, I think Luca has equipped on his Morve as well. Very cool. Here I am trying like the little tart, the little pie. It was like cream cheese and biscuit with sauerkraut. And a woman was like, a woman said to me like, "May I take your plates or something?" Here she is. I'm bowing and I've got my mouth full of food. <laughs> She's like, may I take your plates or your empty drinks? And I was like, yes. Um, it was very good. I think I liked the like uh, ham and cheese piece there. You can see that in the bottom, in the bottom corner. I liked this more than the like cream cheese tart thing, but I didn't film myself trying it one of those tomato juice i'm not a fan of tomato juice but I, I tried it anyway here i go a little sip now nah, i'm having flashbacks looking at this now nah, not a fan of the tomato juice and the little chocolate coin was a nice sweetness after the disgusting tomato juice nice to have a little chocolate coin i like that oh Blade's little guy was the last thing that I had to eat. It came with the drink, just like a plain Monaka rice cracker, and it was yummy. Now, here I am saying goodbye to all of the boys. Goodbye, Ray. Not Blade. Goodbye, Dante. Goodbye, Blade. That's Blade. I was able to get the coaster. That was so kind of people coming around asking to trade coasters. Basically got every single coaster of every character that Luca and Hans wanted, so it was a win. Goodbye, Olivine. Goodbye, uh, Aiden, new best boy. Um, I just like Aiden the best, even though Olivine's got like a, a kiwi drink. That's it. All right. Cool. So now I, I left the cafe and I could start. I could finally speak to the camera again. Here is me leaving the cafe and opening all of the merch. And there we go. I'm leaving the cafe. Um, sorry, I couldn't film. I couldn't talk for the whole filming. There was way too many people. I felt so awkward, um, but it was such a good time. I got lots of good merch. The Aiden acrylic stand is really funny. Thank you so much, Luca, for buying me this as a present. I'll definitely uh, use it. <laughs> it's 
somehow. Um, and I got lots of the cool coasters. Someone came and traded with me. Um, the Blade Coast for e uh, Edmund, which is really cool. Blade is the favorite of Hans who um, helped make this cafe possible. Um, and I got enough points on my point card that I could redeem and get a free extra coaster. So who is it? Who's the last one? Is it gonna be a duplicate or is it gonna be a new character? Oh, Quincy, I was sitting at his table as well. So that's really cool that that's the last coaster that I get. And it's not a duplicate as well. Cute. He's got his little, um, what's his name? Thomper, Pomper, Poffin. <laughs> what's his name? I don't know. I got more of the flyers as well. I got some secret cards, which I'll open up when I get home with the badges as well that I got for Luca and Hands. And I got lots of the Edmund birthday cards as well. I think I got, I've got five of them in total now. So very, very cool. All right, let's go home. I can finally talk again and let's open up the mystery merch. Hey guys, if you haven't already, please subscribe and please like the video. I'm really thinking about playing new carnival, maybe just like a, I think a first time playthrough, maybe making a video cutting out all of the graphic bits so it's appropriate for YouTube, or playing the Bliss version instead. What do you think? Should I try New Carnival? New or New Carnival Bliss? Let me know in the comments. Um, thank you so much for watching. Let's open that merch. Um, big shout out to all of the New Carnival fans and especially Luca and Hans who made this video possible. Uh, I love that boy. My first ever BL merch. <laughs> It's Aiden holding flowers. I got flowers too. Here we go. All right, let's let's open up uh, Luca and Hans merch. I've come back from the uh, New Carnival Cafe and it was such a great time. Very busy compared to the first time. The busiest um, animate cafe that I've ever been to. Um, but it was really cool. I, I mean, I couldn't I couldn't film the way that I wanted to. But it was very cool that like people were walking around being like, I want to trade coasters. Um, and stuff like that. That was really, really cool, really fun that I could interact with the other customers. I'm, they were so brave to come and talk to me. The only guy there, the only foreigner there. Um, but I got I got the coaster of uh, blades that I can give to Hans. Uh, shout out to Luke and Hans who made this video possible. Um, I got lots of the Edmund birthday cards as well. His birthday's on the 21st of, uh, of uh, March. Um, anyway. I'm going to open up the five mystery card packs that I got for spending over a certain amount. It was a free present every time you spent 2,000 yen at the cafe. And I also bought four badges, which I'm going to send to Luca and Hans. And also two of those, like, block stands as well. They're random characters. You don't know who you're going to get. Same with the card packs. Um, let me open up the first card. I guess I'd like to get the favorite characters of... Luca and Hans, which is Aiden, Olivine, Morve, Blade, and uh, Rin, I guess, or Garu. Um, yeah, I think that I think they are the favorite characters. So here we go. First one is what's his name? Yakumo. I got a card of Yakumo. That's really cool. I like these cards better than at the first uh, part one cafe. So mm, that's very cool, very cute. It's got his artwork up very very close. Um, where can I put that? I'm gonna put that here for now. The second card. Come on, Olivine, my kiwi drink boy. Oh, Asta. That's actually a good one as well, because Asta and Morve are, are somewhat of a pair. There we go. I've got them, the ribbons of them from when I had their drinks. I brought them home with me. Uh, the third card is going to be... What the? Okay, a duplicate. Wow, I haven't actually had many duplicates. Um, so I guess I'll send one to Hans and one to Luca. Um, eh, it's okay, Asta, I guess, I guess it's a good character to get a duplicate of. The fourth card, yay, that's cool. Aiden with his uh, rainbow colored drink. It's the same artwork as that one. Maybe Luca or Hans will let me keep this because I'd like, I wanted to have something of Aiden with the rainbow drink because I liked the rainbow drink when I went to the cafe. And I was like, oh, Luca, do you think you might be able to give me your coaster if I get a coaster? And Luca was like, I, I don't want to because I, I want to collect the coasters, but I'll buy you an acrylic stand if you want. I'll buy you the acrylic stand of uh, Aiden. And I was like, really? Uh, well, okay, I think it would be funny to like display it at the end of this video and while I'm at the cafe. So Luca bought me this. Thank you so much, Luca. That's really awesome. It's my first ever BL merch. I own BL merch, guys. All of the all of the stuff I've had from the um from the previous new carnival cafes, I've just sent to Luca and Hans. So this is the first thing that I myself own. So that's uh that's pretty wacky, isn't it? 
The stri straight lorry owns a BL Aiden. He's handsome boy. Come on, come on though. He's handsome boy. All right, <laughs> last card. Come on, it's Morvay. That is cool. So I get a card of Asta and Morvay. That's good. If I was to get any pair of cards, it's gotta be those two. Duplicate is, uh, uh, is Asta, that's fine. Cool. And Aiden over there. Maybe Luca will let me have that one. I'm not sure. I wanted that artwork. Cool. Um, all right. Next, I've got badges. I wanted to buy the volume A, the volume one badges that I bought at the first cafe, but they weren't available. I had to do like a pre-order and, and come back in May. So I was just like, oh, I'll buy the volume one ones instead. It says they're version B. So I wanted the version A ones, which is the same as the ones in the last cafe. Kuya and Aiden were the ones that I got. Let's see who I can get this time. Shout out to Luke and Hans for this whole video for everything. Shout out to you guys watching this video. Um, new carnival fans everywhere. Wow, Blade, cool, Hans's favorite. Awesome, a little love, love heart of Blade. I like the color on the sides. I think I like this kind of badge more than the version A badge, but I think Luca liked the version A one better. Awesome, we got Blade. I'll send that to Hans, Hans got his favorite, yay. All right. Next one, next badge. Come on, be one of the besties. Oh, Edmund, the birthday boy. He's eating the cherry in a very seductive way. There's his birthday card, the birthday boy. Let's let's put that down there. We got a badge of Edmund, which is also the coaster that I traded to be able to get played. Cool. All right, third badge. Come on, Olivine. Come on. Uh, I don't know if we want a duplicate of Aiden. It wouldn't be a duplicate though. It'd be a different artwork. Olivine, Morve. I think would be the best ones. Yes! Morve for Luca. Awesome. Oh, this is so successful. This is very successful. All right, last one. Please be Olivine, the Kiwi drink boy. Ah! Dante, the dud. <laughs> Although some people like Dante, it's fine. There we go. All right. Dante, Morve, Blade, and Edmund are the badges. Cool, 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 cool. All right, last. I've got these like blocks and key rings. You can make it a key ring if you want. It's quite heavy because it's a big chunky acrylic key ring. Well, we got two of these. You can either just like display it standing up or you can use it as a key ring. Who are we gonna get? I think it's the same artwork as the coasters of the version two um, part of the cafe. The first one is <gasps> Blade. No way, we're getting everything of Blade. Oh, that's cool. Um, it's got Blade in the background, and then in the front, it's kind of got his signature or his little mark. That's on the front as well. Whoa, that's funky. That's very funky. So you can use it as a keyring if you want. It's got a big hole there. It came with that. Wow! Everything Blade! That's so cool. Hans is going to be happy. Oh, Blade's drink was disgusting, by the way. It was like syrup water. <laughs> that's Blade, though. He can't cook. All right. The last piece of merch from the new Carnival Cafe. Come on, Olivine! We want Best Boy, we want Kiwi Boy. Oh, um, Yakumo. There he is, his little signature. Yakumo there. Awesome, and a little key ring. We can put that together with the card that we got of him. Didn't get a coaster of him this time. He was the first coaster that I got in the part one cafe. Cool! All right, that is everything. That is the new Carnival Cafe, part two, part one and two. A great time, you guys, you guys watching this video, the new carnival fans, you are the nice, you, this is, this is a sussy game, but you guys are the nicest fan base I've ever encountered for a game. So many of you are commenting on my video, my Reddit post as well. Thank you so much for watching, and thank you for being such, um, big supporters of me going to this cafe on my own. It's, it's very sussy for me, a, a, a straight foreign man to go to this cafe where it's only girls going. Um, but it's a really great time. I had lots of fun. Luca and Hans, you guys are the best for uh, funding and sponsoring me for this whole visit. Um, I had a really, really great time. Um, in Nipponbashi, I also did some anime shopping. This is Hunter Hunter merch, which I'm going to send to Deathy from New Zealand. He loves Hunter Hunter. I did all this shopping for him. I'm going to send all of that to him. Love you, Deathy, if you're somehow watching this video. And also, some other stuff for myself and Kiwi members. I bought Persona things for me. Um, you're scared dressed as a girl. That's for me from Persona 4. Um, uh, Chainsaw Man for Vivid C, my Kiwi member. 
Uh, Drive-by shrimping, I got Ponzu from Hunter Hunter. Kuranaka in America, I got Splatoon, and I also got Waddle Dee from Kirby. Uh, I got Blue Exorcist stuff for myself. Yusuke from Persona 5 for myself, this funny. Aki from Chainsaw Man, I, I, like in, in an onsen, in like a spa, in a spa house. Very, very cute, I'm gonna send that to Vivid Sea in America. Not disappointed. In New Zealand, I'm gonna send Yan Fei from Genshin. Um, I got a little tiny Japanese ice cream and Milo uh, keyring, which I might use myself. Also to Luca, I got uh, Ensemble Stars, this cute art style. It kind of looks like Pop Team Epic. I don't know if it is, but it's the same kind of art style. And also this little guy, what's his name? Emporio, Emporium from Jojo. Uh, for Luca, shout out to Luca and hands one more time. Oh my God, this has been quite an epic video. That's it. That's it, that's all. Thanks everyone for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Please subscribe and, and uh, like if you haven't already. I do lots of videos of visiting anime cafes and shopping for anime merch in Japan. So please check out my other videos. Please click that subscribe button. And uh, thank you to all the Kiwi members, not just Luca and Hands. Big, big thank you to Luca and Hands. But thank you to everyone for supporting me. All right, see you next time. See you for another video. Yay, my Aiden acrylic stand. What a beautiful one.